Yield calculations are crucial for determining the amount of asphalt needed for a project. Three key pieces of information are needed. The area to be paved, the desired thickness of the asphalt layer, and the density of the asphalt mix. Multiply the length by the width to get the total area in square feet. Determine the thickness of the asphalt layer. A two inch lift is common for airfields depending on traffic and load requirements. Convert this thickness to feet by dividing by 12. Multiply the area by the thickness to get volume in cubic feet. Next, use the density provided by the supplier as part of the mix design. Multiply the density by the volume to get the weight of the asphalt mix to be placed. The density is reported in pounds per cubic foot. It may be called bulk density or bulk specific gravity of the mixture, GMB. Divide the weight by 2000 to get the tonnage for the job. This is called the neat line tonnage and does not allow for any waste. Constructing a project typically requires more than the neat line tonnage. Some material is used to heat up the material transfer device and paver then discard it, and edges are trimmed to construct longitudinal joints. Small fluctuations in the underlying material may also affect how much material is needed. To convert GMB to density of asphalt, multiply GMB by 62.4 pounds per cubic foot, which is the density of water. For example, if GMB is 2.700, multiply it by 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. The result is 168.5 pounds per cubic foot. Another important consideration is the roll down factor. Understanding the roll down factor is critical to setting the screed height to meet the final specified thickness of the project plan. A paving machine spreads the material on the ground and strikes it off evenly to provide a smooth surface and uniform mat thickness. The mat will get thinner as it is compacted. The foreman must calculate the initial loose thickness based on the final thickness. The roll down factor is how much thicker the loose material is than the compacted material. Each material type has its own roll down factor. Dense graded mix has a roll down factor of approximately 25%, meaning the loose mat is 25% thicker than the compacted pavement. Gap graded and open graded materials have a roll down factor of about 15%. For example, assume a dense graded mix requires a compacted thickness of two inches. The paving team will block up the screed at two and a half inches to account for the roll down factor while targeting a two inch compacted lift thickness. Properly calculating quantities helps to avoid delays, minimize waste, control costs, schedule equipment and workforce efficiently, and maintain a forward motion. Maintaining a continuous forward motion is essential to achieve a uniform, high quality asphalt pavement.